Hey guys, welcome to um, the second part of lesson four. So we're really not doing anything um, new today. We're just kind of practicing what we learned yesterday. Um, okay, so remember what we learned yesterday is that we need to take this and turn it into um, exponential form to kind of help our brains process what's going on. So it's going to be 5 to the y power equals x. So if you'll recall, we start on this side. And so I said the best thing to do, oops, sorry, that's a positive one, is to start um, with those numbers. Those will give you the most normal numbers and not like crazy big numbers. So 5 to the negative 1 power, it's not happy, so it's going to be 1 fifth. 5 to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is 1. 5 to the first power is 5. 5 squared is 25. Okay, so um, remember today's uh, the logarithmic versus the exponent, um, it has a vertical asymptote. So it's going to be x equals something. And we look at it from where there's an h. And there's no h here, so I know that the vertical asymptote is x equals 0. Um, I also know that, and we can see this from the graph too, that the domain goes right along with this, so it's going to be 0 to positive infinity, and the range is not affected. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph this. Um, I usually don't start with this one. I start with the nice numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oops, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 1. Um, and then 25. So this really doesn't tell you too much. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. That is even super confusing. So you need to know that the logarithmic functions go like this, and then this goes towards the asymptote. Okay, so um, the rest of these we're going to be moving around. So we're going to start with the parent function. So the parent function technically is log base 3 of x, but I want you to get in the habit of really thinking about it as an exponent because I don't know about you, but this doesn't mean a whole lot to me like that does. I can work with that. I'm going to come over here for the parent function and put my regular numbers in. Okay, so... Um, when I type in, so this is a 3, so 3 to the negative 1 power is 1 third, 3 to the first, I'm oh, sorry, 3 to the 0 power is 1, 3 to the first power is 3, 3 to the second power is 9. So I have my points here. Um, don't forget that this is where your vertical asymptote comes from. So that's going to be at x equals 1. Okay, also the domain. That's going to be my limit there. So it's going to be 1 to positive infinity, and then my range is not affected. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do the moving part of it. So this, like I said, we it's shifted 1 instead of 0, so we're going to add 1 to my x's, and then this affects my y values out here. So over here, I'm going to add 2. So I have 1 and 1 third, 2, 4, and 10. Over here, I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this all together. So I'm graphing my vertical asymptote. Okay, so again, I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start that 2, 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, um, and then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'll go ahead and put that in, um, maybe right there. Okay, so you can see that it goes yeah, something like that. Okay, the next one. Um, go ahead and try this one. This is just like... This one up here, nothing new. And this is the second day of seeing this. So you guys should be pros at this. So I'm going to push pause, come back, and we'll finish this up. Okay, so as you can see, I filled in everything. Um, your XY chart should look very similar to mine. Um, notice that vertical asymptote I got from that. 
Um, my parent function, I put both forms down and this is what my graph looks like. So hopefully yours looks very, very similar. Okay, so if you'll recall, we really talked about how this exponential function is gonna be completely different um, from this logarithmic function. So it's gonna kind of hurt your head a little bit because it's gonna be completely the opposite. So let's go back to last week, what we learned. So our parent function for this one is y equals two to the x power. So I'm going to be starting like I normally would over here. So um, I'll go ahead kind of just to keep it consistent, put those values in. So notice that two to the negative one power is one half, two to the zero power is one, two to the first power is two, two to the second power is four. So now we're not having to go backwards. Um, but everything else is the same. So I want to point out, let me change the color here, um, that these here, those affect your y values. The only thing that affects my x value is in there. And also don't forget that um, you've got a horizontal asymptote. So I I made a mistake on here and then I'm like, no, I'm going to keep it because I want to know, I wanted to like be able to cross this out and really talk about that this is a horizontal asymptote. And so again, um, instead of x equals, it's gonna be y equals, and we get it from there. So y equals four. Um, the domain, don't forget, the domain was not restricted, it was the range that was restricted. So everything is completely opposite. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add four, to our x's and over here we're going to do two things we're going to multiply by three and we're also going to add four um so over here this is pretty clear so it's going to be three four five six but then here i'm going to do this in two steps so i have three halves um i have three six twelve and then i'll change it back um, then I'm going to add four. Okay. So three halves plus four, that's like one and a half plus four. So that's going to be 5.5. Um, this is going to be seven, 10 and 16. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit cause that is a mess mess. So um, three, five point five, four, seven, five, ten, and then that last one's too big anyway. Um, okay, so our horizontal asymptote was at y equals four. One, two, three, four. So there's that. And then I'm just gonna um, start plotting the points. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Um, let's see, four, seven five, six, seven, and um, yeah, and then five, 10. Okay, and don't forget, it's not going like sideways, it's going like that. So make sure like on your um, quiz for this week, you're going to have to do um, like at least one of each of them. So make sure you're kind of getting that straight in your head. And that is it guys. So um, this assignment is a little bit lengthier just because this um, lesson is really short. Okay, thanks.